My name is Jackie, I'm from St. Lucia. Been here for about uh, 12 years and starting my technically first week in med school. I'm uh, Ross Porter. I'm from Chester, so I'm from Nova Scotia. I'm Kaylin Dean, I'm a local Haligonian, uh, first year med school, third day. <laughs> and why did you want to be a doctor? Uh, it's something I always wanted to do since I was a kid, just the whole, uh, the human body always fascinated me. As a kid, like a few surgeries on my eyes and um, you know, the, the doctors were just so helpful and made a big impact on my life. And uh, I have an uncle who's a doctor and just thought he was the coolest guy ever. So I kind of was like, I want to be like him. And I just stuck with it. <laughs> Hear me out. I'm watching Grey's Anatomy and it's like 4.30 in the morning. Like I'm sleep deprived. I'm cleaning hotel rooms and I'm like, what? What am I doing with my life? And then I'm like, I, I didn't think, oh, Grey's Anatomy is great. I want to be a surgeon. I kind of thought it was weird. I was like, am I too old to be a surgeon? And then I started looking some stuff up. And then I was like, you know, how old is too old to be a surgeon? And I found this forum of like 40 plus people. And they were all just getting into medical school. And they were so happy. And I was like, could I be a doctor? <laughs> in going into family medicine? Is that uh, an avenue that you'd, you're interested in? Preceptors or, or doctors uh, tell you just to keep an open mind uh, because we're gonna be exposed to so many different specialties and something might spark my interest that I ha might have had no clue existed. So we can see exactly what it is that it, we, um, it's going to be and get rid of any preconceived notions so we can get more familiar with it and at least get more people interested in doing family medicine. You have two schools of students coming into medicine. There's the ones who want the big cases, they want the tumor, you know, they want that crazy acute illness. And then you have people who are really satisfied with the everyday upkeep, and uh, I, I'm definitely on that team. The more primary preventative care we have, the less burden on the healthcare system. I, family medicine's role is so important and I don't mind being the everyday guy. What would a community have to do to attract you to go there and, and settle down and practice? Well we hear in the news like uh, uh, more collaborative practice um, so working as a team with inner professionals practices like that would be certainly interesting or would be somewhere uh, that I'd, I'd want to go. Um, I think where I'm hoping to head into a rural setting and hopefully opening up my own clinic is that I absolutely would have a team. I, I, don't, think, I don't think you can just have a doctor anymore. I think you need the healthcare team. Say there's a psychologist or a psychiatrist um, that also works in that building, it'd be nice to be able to talk to them uh, and, and learn more from them. I always wanted to be one of those doctors who was not com permanently stationed to one spot. So I'd like to have Nova Scotia as my main base, but I also want to teach. So if I were to get involved in some kind of, some kind of program where every how many months we go to different countries to teach different techniques, because I have experienced those things while I was home, and it is beneficial because not everyone has the opportunity to just leave what they're doing and go somewhere else. But if someone can just come and teach all the physicians a new technique that just came out or something I didn't know, uh, then they could in turn just use that to better the country. Healthcare teams are, are the future. I, I think the reason why we're seeing fewer people wanting to go into family med is, well, not only they want the tumor, they want the big case, but, well, if I go family med, suddenly I have this thousands of patients in my lap that I don't have time to deal with. And I think, I think that is daunting. I think it's more daunting than it needs to be. And I think teamwork is the answer. I know it's only your third day of medical school, but how are you feeling entering into this program and knowing that eventually this is going to be the system that you're inheriting? Um, I wrestled with that a little bit. It doesn't change what I want to do or why I want to do it. And the only way to really make any kind of adjustments is for people to, well, I should say for more people to be let into med school. So that's nice that they actually increase the capacity. So. It might take a while, but at least we're contributing to trying to solve the problem. I think my main thing is I, I just want to help my community, and uh, that's something I love to do. It's, it's something 
I'm good at. In our orientation week, we were sort of introduced to all these things and all these ways that medicine is changing. Even with our year, there's new things, there's new language, there's new programs. You know, diversity's huge. Um, we're actively finding ways to unlearn you know, systematic racism and like we're, we're going in a really good direction. Um, so I am, I'm hopeful. It's good to know that I am part of the change. Uh, it definitely didn't deter me at all. I always assumed this profession was gonna be stressful regardless of how busy or not busy it is. Uh, the strain can be a little worrying, but again, it's nice that people are finally taking steps to, um, to counter what's happening. If it comes to a term where I, I find something in this, in this system that I think I can change, I'll fight for it, absolutely. But right now I'm focused on my education and on my future patients.